In this video, we shall show how to how to do the Polya's four-step strategy to solve math problems, especially challenging math problems. So we shall prove a conjecture. A conjecture is like a a proposition, a hypothesis. Example 1.40 prove a conjecture. Given a number, prove that the following procedure produces another number that is thrice the, the original number. So this is the procedure. Pick a number, multiply it by 9, add 6 to the product, divide the sum by 3, then subtract it. So what this is saying is, if you were to do that procedure, whatever number you chose at the beginning, the procedure will transform that number to thrice the original number. So it's going to be from y, the output of the procedure is 3 times y. Well, let's try it. Let's say, for example, our number is 11. Let us multiply it by 9. It's 99. Let us add 6 to the product. 99 plus 6 is 105. Let us divide the sum by 3. 105 divided by 3 is 35. And then, let us subtract 2. It's 33. So, coming from 11, applying the procedure produces a number which is 33. And 33 is 3 times 11. So, let us now apply the strategy of Polya's four-step strategy to solve problems. So let us try to understand the problem. Do you even understand the problem? The, the challenge there was show that the procedure will produce a number that is three times the original number. So that is like show a proof, produce a proof. You don't do it by, by example. Just like what we did, you know, uh, when y is 11, it produced a number, the, the procedure produced a number that is 33. You don't do a formal proof that way. That is just for our personal uh, curiosity. And somehow, seeing that the procedure produces a number that is thrice the original number gives us some confidence that, yes, uh, this conjecture is true and, and that will motivate us to prove that the conjecture is indeed true. Okay, so let us devise a plan. Our plan is we shall write the instructions as a math equation. And then we shall, we shall produce a math equation and then we shall produce that it is true, the equation is true for any choice of a number. So the instruction was pick any number. Y is going to be the variable name for that number. Multiply it by 9, that's 9 times y. Add 6 to the product, that's 9y plus 6. Divide the sum by 3, that's 9y plus 6 divided by 3. And let us subtract 2. 9y plus 6 over 3 minus 2. So this process, okay, uh, this is the final uh, form of our process, that ought to give... 3 times y, given y, applying this math operations will give you 3 times y. So our plan is to prove this equation, that this equation is true for any choice of y. So this is the conjecture for any choice of y, 9y plus 6 over 3 minus 2 is equal to 3 times y. Let us work on this. So this one must produce something which is equal to 3 times y. Okay, so let us combine this. So combining that, okay, the LCD is 3. We multiply uh, the terms by 3. This one becomes 3 times 2 is 6. And then we copy the operation. 9y plus 6 minus 6 over 3. But this one is 0. So this is equal to 9y over 3. We divided it by 3. 9 divided by 3 is is 3, so this is equal to 3y. So this thing, okay, so the expression in the 
uh, left side of your equation is in fact equal to 3y. So we are done. We have shown that for any choice of real number y, the operations that is described in the procedure is going to give us 3 times y. So our conclusion is, given a number y, applying the procedure to y produces 3 times y. Okay, so the last step in Polya's four-step strategy to solve uh, problems is to review the solution, review the proof, and review the conjecture. So you can, you can review it by, by doing it again. Okay, combine this, these rational expressions, and check if it is equal to 3y. Or you can do it by testing it again. Let's say, for example, y is 4. Will this procedure produce 12? Because 12 is 3 times 4. Okay, 9 times 4 is uh, 36. 36 plus 6 is 42. 42 divided by 3 is 14. Minus 2 is 12. So, so our output agrees with with what we expected to get.